it's Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated releases for the month of September 2019. I have a total of five on my list so without further ado let us get started. As per usual I tried to pick lesser known titles so that we weren't hearing the same five books over and over again on everybody's channel except I kind of failed this month because two of them are pretty highly anticipated for a lot of people but they just sound so good that I needed to include them but I actually have physical copies of those ones so I'll talk about them later on. So first to make my editing easier we're going to talk about the ones that I don't have physical copies of. So the first one that I have is called The Nanny. This is by Gilly McMillan and this is supposed to be released September 10th 2019. In 1988 Jocelyn Holt was devastated when her nanny left without saying goodbye to her. So she grew up very bitter and distant and that caused a very difficult relationship with her and her mother. She ended up leaving her estate where her parents lived. Now, 30 years later, Jocelyn returns to the estate and confronts her mother when human remains are found on the property. Then, an unexpected visitor arrives on the estate and Jocelyn is forced to piece together missing parts of her memory to figure out who her nanny really was and if she is actually able to trust her mother or not. I want to know if the mother murdered the nanny. Like, I don't know if it's because Jocelyn loved the nanny more and the mom got jealous and was like fuck you nanny I'ma kill you or like what's going on with that situation but I'm assuming that the human remains are the nanny and that's why she never said goodbye because she was murdered but I guess we'll see when we read it but I'm really excited for that one I think it sounds really good and then the next book that I have on my list is called The Stranger Inside this is by Lisa Unger and it is supposed to be released September 17th 2019 this follows a girl named Rain who when she was 12 years old escaped being abducted on her way to her friend's house but her two other friends were not so lucky her friend Tess never ended up coming home but Hank ended up escaping after weeks of being held in captivity and that caused the captor to be sent to jail. Their abductor was eventually released from prison and they are seeking justice until they find out that he was murdered. Years later, Rain is living a very peaceful suburban life and that's when another murder occurs that is eerily similar to that of the abductors and that causes her to be pulled into the case and it's like the story of that. I have heard very good things about Lisa Ugner books so I actually own a couple of them. I've just never actually picked them up, but I think that this one sounds really interesting. I personally am a huge fan of kidnapping books. I know that sounds really creepy, but I just love kidnapper stories. So I'm really excited for this one, and hopefully I actually get my hands on a copy of it before, you know, six years down the line. Okay, so now I can talk about the books that I actually have arcs of or a finished copy of because Molly sent me it because she's an angel. The first book that I have is Rules for Vanishing. This is by Kate Alice Marshall, and this is to be released September 24th, 2019. This follows a girl named Sarah who one year after her sister Becca's disappearance receives a text message for her and her friends to come play the game. The game consists of finding the local ghost legend Lucy Gallows and Sarah thinks that this may be the key to finding her sister so she agrees to play and it's the story of that. I recently saw Julie from Pages and Pen rate this 5 out of 5 stars, so I'm pretty intrigued by it. I think it sounds really cool. Also, I'm just a huge fan of thriller mystery ghost books, so I'm excited for this one for sure. The next book that I have is Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron, and this is to be released September 3rd, 2019. I got a review copy of this from HTC Frenzy, so thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me a copy. Well, I didn't get sent it, it came in my swag bag for the HCC Friends event. If you want to check out the vlog for that event, then I'll link it up there. But this follows a girl named Ara who was born into a family of witch doctors, but she possesses no magic of her own. Desperate to have magic of her own, Ara calls upon her last resort to trade years of her life for small amounts of magic. Then the kingdom's children start to disappear and Ara takes it upon herself to find the culprit. And that's when she discovers the demon king and she needs to decide what she is willing to do in order to stop him and save the world before he disappears destroys it. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I also just think it sounds really cool and I've never read a book that features witch doctors so I'm really interested to see where that goes. Also, I saw a bunch of booktubers get a box that was like promoting this and there was a voodoo doll in it and I just 
am really intrigued so I'm really excited to read this and I'm hoping that it's a good one. And then the final book that I want to talk about, I am the most excited about and I'm so happy that I have a finished copy of it because Magical Molly sent it to me because I was having a rough time at Teachers College and she was just a little angel baby unicorn. So it is Serpent and Dove and this is by Shelby Mahern. This was released September 3rd, 2019. But this book follows Louise LeBlanc who ran away from her witch coven two years ago and is hiding out out in the city of Cesarine, swearing off all magic and just living off of what she is able to steal while hiding from the church. Reed Diggory is a part of the church, which is an organization that has sworn to kill off all witches. But in a chance encounter, Lou and Reed find themselves in an impossible situation marriage. The war between the church and the witches is ancient and the two unlikely companions need to quickly decide what they're willing to do for love. And I just think it sounds really good. The cover is also just gorgeous. So thank you again to Molly for sending this to me. I am so, so excited to pick it up. Also, I have heard very mixed reviews about this. You either love it to death or you absolutely hate it. So I'm really excited to see where I land. I'm hoping it's on the loving side, obviously, but I guess we'll see when we read it. All right, guys, so that was my most anticipated releases for September 2019. Let me know down below what you guys are anticipating this month or if you've read any of these and what you thought of them and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>